Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alexander, and today I'll be telling you guys how I lit this really cool industrial photo shoot. Let's get started. So the first thing that you'll see guys is that we have our talent today in front of a canvas backdrop. This is honestly just a paint drop cloth that I picked up at my local hardware store. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot. It's literally a canvas paint drop cloth that I went ahead and hung up on our background support. It's khaki colored in a canvas like material. So I thought that it would work for a great background. Secondly, we noticed this really cool window shadow happening on our background. And I'm gonna tell you how we achieved that in this studio space. And guys, like always, this shoot took place in my photo studio that I converted out of my garage. If you wanna check out how I did that, guys, look in the description below and I'll have a link of the video showing you guys how I made this conversion happen. So guys, our primary source of lighting here is this large window, but guess what? My studio does not have a big window. So I'm gonna tell you how we achieve this look. So in the studio space, we have an eight foot piece of plexiglass that I actually went ahead and put strips of tape on in a tic-tac-toe like pattern. This kind of mimicked what a window might look like if the sun was kind of shining through. Again, I simply took some pieces of tape and I made a tic-tac-toe grid like pattern on some simple plexiglass guys and that created our window source. Now, the motivation behind this piece was I wanted it to feel like an industrial warehouse and for the lighting, I wanted it to feel like there was a large window in this space where the sun was setting, maybe it was golden hour, and it was peeking through, hitting our model. Now to create this sun-like source of light, I actually took an Aperture 300D, put a half CTL gel on that light, and then I shined it through this plexiglass window that I created. Now the distance between the glass window and where you put your light determines the shape and the size of the shadow that you're gonna cast on your background. So that's completely up to you. In my case, I had my light about five feet away from our glass window. Now, taking this a step further, I actually went ahead and took some fake leaf foliage from my house, clamped it to a light stand, and I actually put it in between the light and the glass window. And this made the shot a bit more realistic almost mimicking a tree that might be in front of the window. And again, I gelled this light with a half CTL gel to warm it up to almost feel like a sunset. Now we have one more light in this shot and that's gonna be on camera right. I took a second Aperture 300D and literally just aimed it straight up at the ceiling of our studio to cast some extra fill light ambiance over the whole shot. And this kind of lifts the shadows a little bit more just so we can see some more details in those shadows. Now the brightness that you choose to have this fill light at is completely up to you because that determines the ratio and how contrasty you want your shot to be. In my case, I went ahead and had my fill light at about 50% brightness. And that got me a look that I really liked. Now last but not least, I thought this shot still needed something else. And so I went ahead and added a foreground element to kind of make the shot feel a bit more three dimensional. In this case, I just used one of the fans that's in the studio and put it in the foreground. And that kind of made the shot feel a bit more industrial, gave it more depth, and it just completed the shot overall to me. And guys, honestly, that was it. A simple two light setup with some foreground elements to get me the industrial look that I wanted. Overall, this look made the space feel way bigger than what it actually was. And again, guys, if you want to check out how I converted my garage into a photo studio, look in the description below. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment down below, guys. I would love to hear your feedback. Lastly, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, guys, already. I'll be releasing new content every week on how I light and what we're doing in the studio space. And again, this is a photo and video space for rent. So if you want to book it, we are on PeerSpace and ShareGrid. I have both links in the description below, guys. So check us out and give us a shout out. I'll see you next time.